as part of the University of Cape Town's ongoing drive to engage with local communities, primary school learners were invited to take a peek into the fascinating field of neuroscience during an outing to mark International Brain Awareness Week. The outing was hosted by the student-led Cortex Club and UCT's Neuroscience Institute, which is at a dynamic stage of development. It'll soon be moving to the Neuroscience Centre, a new state-of-the-art interdisciplinary research and clinical facility under construction at Hurtzgeer Hospital. The Grade 7 school children from Capricorn Primary School in Freigrond in Cape Town explored the anatomy museum and asked plenty of questions. Why is the brain so important? So the brain is so important because it is who we are. The children also learned valuable lessons about protecting their brains from injury. Our leading cause of traumatic brain injury in children um, this age and, and younger is motor vehicle accidents or pedestrian vehicle accidents. We don't have sufficient public awareness and they need to know at this young age that they need to be careful and take responsibility for buckling up when they get into a car, for telling their parents to buckle up and for looking after their siblings. For many, a demonstration showing the detached leg of a cockroach proved fascinating. We're pretending like we're the cockroach's brain. So we're going to try and make the cockroach leg move just, just with our own signals. A second experiment demonstrated how the brain forms in a chick. For the young learners, finding out more about the power of the brain was enlightening. Firstly, I thought that everything starts with the heart, um, but now today I've learned something new that the brain is actually the first most important and then secondly comes the heart. It also prompted some to think about their future careers. Now finally I made my decision I want to become a scientist. And for the neuroscientists this was very encouraging. So there's this great energy and this great revolution in neuroscience research and so the best thing to do now was, would be to encourage younger neuroscientists to carry this on. With the event clearly a success, the Neuroscience Institute plans to hold an even bigger Brain Awareness Day next year.